Welcome to Mediocre Gaming, and today we're talking about The Division 2. Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and salutations. Today we're comparing maps. Let's get to it. So during the press conference yesterday at the Ubisoft E3, they talked about how large the map is, is going to be for The Division 2. And they said it's going to be 20% larger than the first map. Well, what does that actually look like? So, if we look at the Division 1 map, it looks like this. And we're going to take a take all that usable map and we are going to separate it from areas that you can't get to. So doing that, and then we're going to shrink it down because the amount of space for the division is going to be smaller than the division two. Now, once we overlay that onto the original map, the original map you can see it is 20% larger and you're talking about approximately an extra 10 West Side Piers. Now, I haven't done the exact amount of area versus what's there, but you're talking about about that much. And so you're talking about the Division 2 map is going to be the blue region plus the red region combined, obviously in a different layout because Washington, D.C. doesn't look anything like New York. So there you have it, a one-to-one -one visual look at the difference between how much larger the Division 2 map is going to be versus the Division 1 map. There's going to be a lot more to explore. There's going to be a lot of area to cover, uh, especially at first when there aren't any fast travel points. Uh, they've mentioned that there's still going to be safe houses, which is a really great idea because otherwise going from one end of the map to the other is going to take a really, really long time. But that's it. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and we'll see you next time.